students in grade 12, let's continue what we started about set 2, the advanced course. A question number 15. For the, give, for the five games shown in the table above, the visitors had the same average, it means the arithmetic mean score at the home team. So what was the visitor score for the fifth game? Here we can find at the home team score, you can find the arithmetic mean by adding the sum of those values, 70 plus 65 plus 70 plus 60 plus 60. All of them divided by 5, you will find the result is going to be 65. So it's the same arithmetic mean for the visitor score. It's 50 plus 65 plus 60 plus 70 plus X. The unknown number divided by 5 equals to 65. By multiplying that 65 by 5, it's going to be 325. Subtracted from that number is going to be 80. And the suitable answer is going to be number E, 80. In the XY plane, if the line X plus KY equals 1, contains the point 1 and 2 then k equals at that time if it contains that point so that is the x coordinate and the y coordinate that should satisfy that relation by substituting instead of x 1 and instead of y put 2 equals 1 so at that time it should be equal 0 because the one to be at the left hand side equals to the one at the right hand side and the suitable answer is going to be number C. And if X plus Y plus Y equals Y, then X over Y, X divided by Y equals, at that time, we can cancel the two Y's together. That means X is equals negative Y. So you are dividing the same number by itself by a negative sign, and the suitable sign is going to be negative 1. And A equals negative 1, as it's question number 17. Question number 18 are talking about that trapezoid here we've got. To the nearest minute, how long would it take a person to walk around the trapezoidal part shown in the figure above at the rate of 400 feet per minute? Here at the beginning, we should to find the length of that side at the right hand side the leg of the trapezoid so if we are going to make a construction at that time here that is going to be 900 also the perpendicular line and the opposite of it is going to be 1300 and the other one is going to be 1300 by Pythagoras theorem we can find the length of that side and by adding all of them together you know there is one 1300 squared plus the 900 squared we can find the square root of them to find approximately the length of that side by adding all of them and then divided 400 to find it, it's approximately 15.9 it means 16 minutes and the suitable answer is going to be number E a figure consists of five distant lines K, L, M, P and R are lying in the same plane. If K is parallel to L and M parallel to P parallel to R, so what the maximum possible number of intersection points here in the figure? You know the intersecting point, it means where the two lines cross each other. And that is going to be if we are going to draw and imagine the three lines parallel to each other and another two lines parallel, they are going to intersect at six points. That means that the suitable answer is going to be number D. Moving to question number 20. If the sum of five enters as an even enter, so what the greatest number of these integers that can be odd number? At that time, it is 5. How did I find it? 
by adding 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15, and that is an odd number. At that time, number 21, the numbers x plus y and x are located on the number line as shown at the right hand side of the x, y. At that time, if x plus y is smaller than x, that means that y is a negative number because going to the left hand side is decreasing the numbers that means that the suitable answer is going to be d y is a negative number in question number 22 in the x y plane the coordinates of the vertices of a triangle abc are a negative 8 and 0 b 0 and 4 and c x and 0 if a b is equal to b c so what the value of x it should be here you know to find the distance between a b the square root of 4 minus 0 and 0 minus minus 8 but that is squared and that is squared the sum of them so 4 minus 0 and 0 minus minus 8 at the right hand side there is 0 minus 4 to find the bc and then it's going to be negative 8 positive 0 but it's all squared so the suitable sign can be a and e the both are right at that time in number 23 on monday morning lee left his house and walked the long straight path to the school arriving eight minutes later the graph above that graph shows the distance in miles that he walked as a function of the time in minutes since that he walked for a function of the time in minutes since he left his house which of the following statement about Lee's trip to the school is true Lee stopped walking for two minutes as we can see in the figure above that means that he stopped from the third minute to the fifth minute and that is right and it's constant linear relation here represented by that straight line parallel to the x-axis and the other two statements are wrong so the suitable answer is going to be a it's one only moving to question number 24 talking about the slope of the straight line at that time to find the slope of the straight line you know negative x coefficient divided the y coefficient so it's negative 4 divided by negative 3 so it's going to be four thirds that is the slope of that straight line given to us but the perpendicular to it you should find the additive and the multiplicative inverse of it so it's going to be negative three quarters and the suitable answer is going to be b as negative three quarters moving to question number 25 if p is a real number between zero and one that means it's like a fraction so which of the following is true to take an example the half is going to be it's not going to be smaller than the quarter because it's squared to the right hand side a b and c and d all of them are wrong but if you have a look about number e the suitable answer is going to be e because the square root of quarter for example is going to be half and the one over half equals two and the two is greater than the half so the suitable answer is going to be number e for that circle given to us in that figure above shows a compact disc cd with a diameter of 12 and a half centimeters if the cd rotates at a speed of 200 revolutions per minute so how many centimeters does point p travel in one minute at the beginning we should to find the circumference of that circle so we should to multiply the 12 and a half and that is the diameter the two are multiplied by 3.14 and that is going to be 39 and quarter so multiplied by 200 revolutions is going to be approximately 7850 and that is the suitable answer is going to be c and if function a equals function a plus one then function two here must be equal to each of the following instead of a you should put 2 so it's going to be the function 2 plus 1 equals 3 and j 3 and the suitable answer is going to be e 
I wish you all take care of yourself and let's finish at that time we'll, we'll continue again in another session